Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Steel Mace Moves. I'm Coach Rich Thurman and I'm here in Malaysia just outside of Kuala Lumpur. And today we have a steel mace movement that I think you're gonna like. It's the lateral lunge. We'll do the lateral lunge, but we'll also give you one progression that you can scale back. So if you or your client need a little bit of practice and build up before you get to the lateral lunge, you can do that movement too. So here we go. You're gonna start out holding in the middle position, underhand closest to the mace head or ball, and overhand further away. Pull apart on that mace so that you have a little bit of tension and now you've created a closed circuit and closed loop through the mace and your mid and upper back. Okay, so we're just creating a line of tension, a complete line of tension through that muscular structure in order to stabilize and neutralize the weight of the mace. From there, we're gonna take our feet nice and wide. So this is the first progression of this movement, which I like to do with people just so they have a gauge on how wide their lunge should be. Then we're gonna bend into our left knee. As we bend into our left knee, we're going to drop and extend our right hand. And we're gonna slide our left hand up the end of the mace, pull apart on each end. Here we still have that closed chain and that closed loop. We're pulling on the bottom of the mace, we're pulling on the top of the mace. This is giving us engagement of the lats on both sides and it's evenly distributing the weight of the mace as we lunge. Okay, so once again, lowering, allowing to the top arm to slide as the bottom arm extends and then back up to neutral. Okay. So that was the first progression. Remember that we created a closed chain between the mace, our arms, and our back. We wanna continue that closed chain. However, our hands are gonna act as guides, as hand brakes. So one hand is gonna be constantly tight, the other hand is gonna slide up until it gets to its end point, and then it's gonna, you're gonna squeeze and give yourself that nice hand brake. And then we're gonna create that tension through the back by opening the chest. Okay, so we're gonna move to the next progression, which is the lateral lunge. Now for the lateral lunge, instead of what we did was more of a lateral squat, we're gonna actually move into our stepping motion. Okay, so just adding a layer of complexity for your client or yourself. So, we're gonna take the mace this time on the left hand, or the, the ball of the mace is going to be uh, on the left side, and the other end of the mace is gonna be on the right. Remember, we're underhand on the side of the mace head, overhand on the opposite side. Okay, we're going to step away from the head of the mace. So step out and away, bend at the knee, push the hips out, extend and pull in opposite directions, creating that line of tension, back up to a neutral middle position, nice and tall. Stepping out, dropping the hips, pull, back up to a neutral position. Okay, those are the two progressions I wanted you to see today. So remember, if you or your client have trouble with lateral lunges, always start with these progressions without any load at all. So it's important that we work at the level that works best for us and that we find a level of mastery before we add load to our exercise. If you like more uh, articles and things on these uh, mace exercises, movement, you can find those at my website, coachrichthurman.com. And if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.